Stan, here we are on a Friday afternoon. Regular viewers may or may not know that I uh, am a keen cyclist in respect of a commuter. And there's nearly an ex-Stan on the way home today. Honestly, you have some near misses, but this was one of the worst ones. Uh, not that it's really relevant to me channel, but I thought I'd air my views. Uh, you cycle on a path, people don't like it. You just go on a cycle path. There's always people with uh, earphones in, dogs on extendable leads. You ring your bell and they look at you like you've just committed the worst crime in history. There's glass everywhere. You go on the roads and I nearly just got wiped out on the way home. Just not, not, not an hour ago. And you just think, oh, dear me. I'm having to have a cup of coffee to calm my nerves. So anyway, military time. Top YouTuber and expert in all things military. Military collectibles himself. Old CJ, top fella, was having a bit of a clear out the other day, as was uh, in one of his videos. He did that, showed, showed people his latest setup, and he was having a bit of a clear out. So he said to me, I've got some bits that are no longer relevant to my collection. Maybe they could be useful to you, Stan. Well, we all know Stan, <clears throat> always fans of home things. So thanks, CJ, you're a top fella. I don't know what's in here. I, I think I have an idea about what one might be, but I don't know what it is. You've seen it for the first time, as I am. Obviously, I've taken the addresses off. So here we go. Bit of an unboxing from me old mate CJ. I'm going to have to be very careful, so I say I don't know what's inside. So just bear with me. Yeah. Try and get in. Very well, very well wrapped, as it should be. Post office have been on strike uh, here in the UK, if you're watching from abroad. So, um, it's been de delayed back in the week. I just caught a postman when I came home. Um, and I was a postman for, for several years, actually. A long time ago now. But uh, going through strife. I imagine I was talking uh, to the postman the other day, I know. And, uh, I mean, if you think about it, they are, they are having to compete with Amazon drivers and uh, um, the other delivery companies out there, which... which pay a lot less than what the Royal Mail are getting in paying conditions. Um, personally, I'd rather send it by Royal Mail and know that it's been delivered and handled by, um, I'd say a qualified person, a vetted person, that's what I'd say. Anyway, that's just my thought, probably because um, I was in the uh, post, Postal Union, etc. And now in my own union again, I'll be in the union. Stop talking, stand and just get on with it. Need that. One more bit, one more bit to go. And I'll make sure I'm not cutting it or anything. It's very heavy. Uh, so, yeah. This is a bit where you should speed it up, shouldn't you speed it up when you're thinking, you know, I can't edit and stuff like that. You know, right, here we go. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. We're in. Oh, it looks good, we're looking good. Yeah. Here we are. Right, here we are. So, I don't know if he's put a letter in there or not. Uh, I don't think so. I think it will work. I will work. So, in a magazine, 60th anniversary of the Battle of Britain, winner flight in a Spitfire. That would be all right, wouldn't it? So, I mean, I'll, I'll do individual um, individual uh, videos of these. So, oh, that, that is nice. Right, Battle of Britain. Battle of Britain magazine, nice one. Fly past. My uncle actually gets that magazine every... Every time it comes out, okay. this one here, air clues, air ministry. Hmm. Okay. Never seen one of these before. It's like an interesting magazine. We will flick our way through that, definitely. Excellent, excellent. I might just, I might just throw it the top, take this top one. Uh, Bundy, is it Bundy? Bundy there, I think. Size 60. Oh, steel helmet stand size. Who would have thought it? I can't quite see what it says on there. But uh, I think, is that, is that Bundeswehr? I think so, isn't it? Bundeswehr Air Force, uh, West German Air Force. I think, I think. Well, it, that looks like a really old, really old uh, badge on the front there. Further investigation. Quiet. Bren gun pouch with stuffing. You've done me proud here, CJ, honestly. There's a lot of kit here. 
It's because he, oh, he did send me a Brembo pouch before, so this could be the matching one. So is it a GN94 and 1495? Aha. Let's have a look. Empty British Army SLR. Cleaning tin. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, there you go. It's funny. I handled a, an an SLR at a reenactment event earlier in the year. And uh, I really like one. I would. But they are pricey. Now, I know what this is. I know what this is because he's just done a video on it. For those who maybe missed his video or remember it. That is a Denix replica STG44 magazine. And as he said in the video, it's constructed differently from a real one. But that is, um, I've been talking to CJ on the phone, on the phone uh, message. And uh, I told him I was getting an STG44 replica. So that is going to go with that. So that's ideal, 100% ideal, that. Uh, oh. Wee. El Nifo. I, I think I remember him doing a video on this. Ah, yeah, Sir Peter Port. Now, isn't that Sir Peter Port is Guernsey, I believe, isn't it? And th this was on a video he did years ago. So it's a handmade. Ah, there you go. With the German coin on the bottom, so made by a German soldier. CJ, honestly, that's fantastic. Sending me that. That is really what I remember that from a video from years ago. Fair play to you. Thanks very much. That's that's ideal. It's brilliant. That, that will go somewhere in the collection, of course. That's that in there. That's the Brengo pouch. Put that over there. And more stuff, more stuff, more stuff. 50th anniversary of um, D-Day. That's a sticker. Oh, well, we might stick it somewhere. Ah. We'll go here first. I'm not sure which one that is, that. St. Michelle. Obviously, a war cemetery postcard. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. First time in a set of six postcards. Full colour paintings of the big battle. Excuse me, scuttle off you. So we'll we'll do a we will do a review of these set of really colourful postcards, excellent stuff. And now we've got a cat getting involved. It's a cat for his own. Thanks very much. Naffy, 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 yes, photos. What are these? What are these? Oh, I get you. Very nice. I do like old photographs. You can do so much with them. It will be a centre of the collection. Over there. Ah, oh, that's the. Uh, I'm not sure of the make of that helicopter. Not sure of that at all. It's not a Sea King, is it? Excellent. Will you calm down, cat? Ah, he did say he was putting this in. So the machine pistol, 44, and this is the East German. Um, I'm sure it's the East German uh, side of it. So that'll be... Uh, that can go with my... Um, STG44 replica when I get it. Well, I've got it. I've already got it, but it's uh, <clears throat> not to be touched by me. Oh, it's all written up here. So we'll just read what it says here. Copy of the page of the Times newspaper, 1916, listing those killed in action, wounded, first day of the Somme. Good for medal researcher. Yeah, and that looks like it's an original piece as well. I'll tell you what. Thank you very much, CJ. You're, you're a great fella. Uh, I wish I had. I wish I could just display all of this on the wall. This is a map. Now we do like a map in Still and Stands Bank Cave. So what is it? 
Ordnance Survey map of Scotland land. Scotland North. And that's an original uh, uh, like Air Ministry map. And I know that because I've got one uh, of the northeast of England. So probably the third one down from this one. So fold that up somehow and uh, put it over there. Let me take a drink of coffee in. Calm my nerves after me near, nearly meeting me maker. For anyone who doesn't know, it's the air pillar on your car. You know the air pillar that comes down, separates your windscreen from your door. If you're in that view, because you develop a sixth sense as a cyclist, you haven't been seen. And by the time you haven't been seen and you're moving there, the person's already looking that way to see if someone's coming at a junction. That's how people get knocked off the bikes. So there you go. Dewar's white label. That's a nice postcard. See, all, the, all these things, I'm going to have to get a frame. I actually have got a spare frame. I've got a frame upstairs. I should put them in. World War I Royal Navy. Great stuff, that. The, the, these things are so... The, these things in here, you can just set up a collection around it. Somewhere in Germany, September 1925. Now, I've got a book. We were there. Great stuff. And I think that was from the um, 1920s. New Testament, I do collect. The old Bibles, I have several of them. And I do have service ones as well. So this is a fantastic little piece. That will go in the man cave. Along with me. My wife actually brought me one back. From a little, uh, a little um, Christmas thing she was at last week. So I've got another one. Now I've got another two. Ourselves in Germany. I do have some of these books upstairs, uh, these penguin um, things, another nice edition. It's like a never-ending never box. Great stuff. Europe since Versailles. Again, it is a penguin. Yeah, it is a penguin. Yeah, that'll be... These, these will all have to be individually reviewed. Mechanical training... Driving for vehicles, rules of army, motorcycling association. Very good. As we were just talking about cycling, weren't we? 1953. Training manuals. These are the type of things where I do collect, I do have some like Cold War, see, uh, 49 pattern um, tunics. So that will go as a nice sort of if you were doing a, a national serviceman. Oh, another map. Robert Bauer. One inch map of England, Wales. Aldershot. Army base, 1940. First, I'm not going to open that one up. Survive and Fight. School of Libraries. Yeah, that, 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 that's a, that is a really nice piece of uh, kit. That I'm presuming that's... Um, we got School of Signals, Signals Library. Sorry, we didn't get a picture there. That's obviously a handout book for. That's <laughs> that's what my mannequin looks like in the man cave with the same gas mask on. Um, I hope I hope there isn't a letter in here right at the very bottom. I'll be reading it back on the backside first. I'll just go through these ones. These these are these are really nice. I'll flick through these ones. These are great display items. Um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm presuming these are reproductions. I don't think the yeah, be re re reproductions, but still, these are just things that you could you can set up a display around. Oh, Führer, Adolf Hitler. There he is. Some of these um, sort of classic. Uh, how would you put it? Maybe um, Sven Assel type. Book cover for uh, painting that I like they're quite good. And then, oh dropping some there's more stuff in here. Physical warship at sea. So that's probably interwar years maybe. Yeah, this is a uh, amazing stuff. 
it says on the back here what this one is. Royal Air Force, Tropical Tunic, Taken, Indian World War II. Address on the back is Kinross, Scotland. That's Heinz Gadurian, I believe. Yeah, so that that's it. that's really good. I mean, I, I'm blown away. There's, there's there's too much stuff in here. There's so much stuff, it's unreal. And they get another another the hood and Bismarck. We'll go through them. Cats are having a hissy fit. And what's going on with them? Ah, aha! Now we did say who sent me this. And that is a really nice, really 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 nice item. Um. I don't know if these are date stamped, these things. Is that it? Is that it there? I can't read it. 96. There is some marks on there, but this is, for those who don't know, L1A1 SLR magazine. And I do have some 7.62 um, inert rounds to go in there. That's that's great. I mean, that, that could I could do that. Put the rounds in and I could do a review of the L1A1. Even though I don't have the deactivated rifle because I've got part of it. And I've certainly got photographs and pictures in my book, in books. I'll just uh, take a drink of tea, coffee. And there's more, there's more. It's a bottomless pit. CJ Topfellier, uh, well, Eisenhower, George S. Patton. What are these? After the Battle. Ah, so they were the magazines that um, CJ sent me before. George S. Patton. He's also sent me the poster of that um, poem. Michael Wittmann, I believe. Yep, Michael Whitman, Wittmann. Monty! Hello there! Old Churchill. Very patriotic. Patton, again. And that is Guy Gibson. I know that much. Yeah, Guy Gibson. Great stuff. These are all like really things that you could just you could just set up on any display and off you go. Another map. I would do like a map and I have got a space for a map on the ceiling in the man cave. This is again Scotland West, I would imagine. Judging by the Oh yeah. Sky and the Outer Hebrides. Again another second war revision uh, map. I will find you. I do like maps. I do like maps. Very handy things they are. Very handy things. And we keep going again. There's more stuff. More stuff. More, stuff. more after the battle. Uh, postcards. Mercer Smiths. 109. The crew. Not 109. 110. Zestroyer. There's one, there are 109s there, going right across the desert floor. There it were there. That's a, uh, dee dee dee. That's a very famous one though, I've seen that one before. Yeah, Armourer. So, I mean, obviously I'm not going to like review these postcards individually. That's, that's fair, that's, that's another good photograph there. Look. What I will have to do with this. I am at a point now in my collection where I really should start setting up proper displays where I've got, I can use these items here for like uh, padding it out and making things out. I get one item and, and put these things around around it. And we go on. Oh, let's look at this. German rank pips. I suppose in their World War II. Bloody hell. Excellent stuff. There's something else in here. What's this? Radi radio radiac meter. Well, I haven't got a clue what that is. Answers on a postcard. Steel on the stand. Signal call call. So radio radiac meter. US Army. Hmm. It's obviously a something for testing something to do with signals. Is it, is it just a torch? We ask ourselves. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, I'll find a use. This can go with my uh, signals, uh, the lamp I've got, the American lamp. 
the boss that cut the not long ago. And we're nearly there, nearly at the bottom. And this is what the hell? <laughs> Training area. Syrencia. So that is North Africa. Yeah, yeah North Africa. Again, maps. I mean, depending on the the value. I mean, this has obviously been on a wall before. You could frame them properly, but uh, I think just stick them up with some drawing pens will be fine. Just to understand. And that's it. That box is empty. Last item is another map, and this is all. What is it? Precision on survey. Breckenshire. So, I would imagine, is it the Brecon Beacons? Yeah. Right. That's it. Well, make sure there's nothing else in there. I feel like uh, that fella, he called uh, Thomas. Is it Thomas Whitman? Uh, the uh, fella of, uh, down in the cellar. Right, so, literally, CJ... You've surpassed yourself. Um, I know that these are items that you were just passing out of your, of your collection and they were no longer relevant for whatever you were doing, but I will find a use for these, as always. And I, I can't thank you enough, mate. I mean, it's it's it's, it's very very generous of you, honestly. Uh, thanks very much, that's all I can say. CJ, military collectibles, what a top fella. So that's 22 minutes of me, and that's the, big, that's the longest unboxing ever in history, I think. So now I've got to go and... Hide all this stuff from your wife. <laughs> so that's it. Thanks. Right. So this is Stan. And I'll see you.